Welcome to Sherpa.sh. This is Zach. I'm going to walk you through how to connect your GitHub account and deploy your first app. It's going to be quick and easy. First step, go ahead and click that bouncing GitHub button. This will take you over to GitHub where it will ask to install the Sherpa.sh app. Pick either the organization or the account that you want to install it on where your repo lives. Next, you're going to get to choose, do you want to give the Sherpa app access to all your repos or only to specific ones? The choice is yours. In this case, I'm only going to do select repos and I'm going to pick the Next.js app to show it to you. Click install and authorize into your password if you're not fully authenticated. And this will redirect you back to the Sherpa website where you can now see your repository is available for import. So you click the import button. And now you can configure your application for deployment. Most of these settings you won't have to change, but I'll walk through them briefly for you. The domain configuration is the domain where your app will be available. So let's do Zach's app in this case. Build settings, you need to select the framework that your application is using. In this case, it's the Next.js app, so I'm picking Next.js. Install command and build command match what I use on my local machine, so nothing needs to be changed there. If this was a turbo repo or a mono repo where the actual application was in a subdirectory, I would change the root directory here. In this case, I don't need to. Now I'm going to add some environment variables for this particular application. I have my .emv file I'm going to paste here. Now my secrets are here. I didn't let you see what I pasted. Um, all right, and now we get into where is your application going to actually be deployed. So all of your, your static assets and your front end for Next.js will be deployed to the CDN globally around the world. And then the app region is where all of your server-side rendering and server actions are going to run. You want to pick a back-end region that's closest to your database to minimize round-trip latency. In this case, I'm going to just do US West. You should know if you're deploying a Docker app and not a Next.js app, these still apply to you. This is where your Docker container is going to get deployed and will still give you a CDN, batteries included on top of your application and serve your static assets through it. And that's it. We just click save and deploy. And your app is being built and deployed now. All right, I skipped ahead to the end of the build for you, but you can see all your Dependencies are installed, and your project gets built. All this took about two minutes, and the app is now live at zaxapp.sherpa.software, where we specified in the settings. And that's it. You're good to go. Thank you for trying Sherpa.sh.